wakati msichana anasikia akiwa na joto sana mm. wakati anasikia akiwa na joto sana hapo dio akifanya two sex pap boli inaingia ni vizuri anajua kwamba wanasema kama maumivu yakizidi sana muone daktari mm. mimi nitasema hapa joto ikizidi <laughs> oka na majibaji <laughs> kwa sababu that is why we have a uh, uh, watoto ambao hawana baba ukiulizwa unasikia tu baba ako wapi baba alikanyangwa na roho <laughs> we tutaki kufikia hapo because of unplanned sex ni vizuri kujua kwamba sex is ordained mm. by god na sex is only for married people mm. ni muhimu kuelewa hivyo na hakuna mtu chaisikia amekufa kwa sababu ya <laughs> ya kukua na dry spell no one has ever died ati umekaa hivi ukasikia unabano unabano uka faint kwa sababu ya joto kwa nyingi Etia. Ai JP kap. Ata. Yes, how are you guys? Yes, how uh, very warm welcome to you our viewers. Today is yet another episode of the Hop Show. Where we say it is the fountain of triumph. Na hapa tunasema marriage works. Na marriage is never as calm and I hope that you are going to be blessed by today's episode. Um by we are going to introduce the topic shortly and uh, as usual I'm glad to host and to have my colleagues uh from my right, kuna Mr. Gideon on my left, kuna the only madam. Mm, kwa show. So karibuni sana guys, you are most welcome. They say ladies first. Na tutaenda kinyume na hiyo. So very karibu sana kwa show. Thank you so much. Mm, hello our viewers. Tunafurahi sana for you having create, for you creating your time to watch cuz kama ingekuwa nyinyi hatungekuwa hapa by the way. But we are here because of you. We really appreciate for we really appreciate your time. We don't take it for granted. Kindly continue to subscribe and like. Today we are going to to discuss a very critical issue that in affect the entire community not only the married couples but at our one yako single. I hope you're going to learn something from there. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. Santi sana. Sikia leo. Majina naitwa Gideon. Na Santi sana Simon. Sababu ya nafasi hii na ili tukaweze kuongea na our viewers mambo kadhaa na hii tujue venye tutajengana mm. katika maisha haya. Yes. Asante sana. So, thank you very much guys. Welcome uh, kwa platform tuweze ku discuss yet another critical issue and I hope ya kwamba this one is affecting every person in the community. Mm. And I hope ya kwamba if we adhere to some of the uh, the advice we are going to give and much more about iko huko nje it will really be a benefit. So we are proudly sponsored by Hope Media and you guys know big up sana. Thank you for continuing supporting us uh, to make sure that we are reaching more and more. So we still appeal to you continue subscribing to the channel. Uh, you can share, leave a comment and tutabarikiwa sisi zote pamoja. So today's show uh, guys ni kwamba you want to know. Uh tumeongea mambo mengi ndio mm-hmm. tunataka kuhusia a very sensitive issue ambayo inaguza kila mtu katika society nayo ni sex you see uh, uh, is sio hizi za kitambo ambao watu walikuwa na shy off wazazi wana shy off kuongea mm-hmm. mambo ya ngono ni kama ni ni tabu ni kama ni tabu so we want these things that watoto wenye wanazaliwa sasa hizi Mm. You cannot convince a child pale at his kuzi watoto wanaendelea hospitali. Watu mm. tumefika it is not so. Yeah. So wanajua eh? because unaona uh, ameona mtoto uh, mtoto ameona mama tubu yake imeanza kuwa kubwa pole 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 ako like eh? what's up. Mm. Eh? So we we don't have to hide our face on the sand. In the sand lazima tukubali ku, ku speak up because these things hata kusipozi ongea zimeja in the society. Yeah. So today we want to know what kind of sex must you not have eh yeah? ni sex gani ambazo haupaswi kuwa nazo so mr gideon i start from you yeah what kind of sex ambazo haupaswi kuwa nazo ama kuzifana 
Oke. Okay. <coughs> uh, Santi sana sasa kwa sababu ya hiyo ni jambo la maana katika maisha ya ndoa na katika maisha ya, ya kijana ambaye yako kwa relationship. Mm. Kwa sababu ma, i, zingine tukiyafanya unakuta yanakuja kuku affect katika maisha yako. So uh, jambo moja ambayo inaweza fanya sex ambayo unaweza fanya na ikuletee shida ni wakati mwingine hii tume witness mara mingi sana kwa vijana pengine Mungu amekupe hiyo masomo na umemaliza shule probably hata inaanzanga hata katika shule kwa sababu unakuta ya kwamba you are not working hard you are not doing what is necessary kama kijana wacha kwanza niguzie niguzie kijana kwanza abaye ako pale nje wakati mwingine ako like for example the, uh, ako in a university mm. wakati mwingine tunashuhudia mambo kama hiyo sana sana in in ladies and uh, uh, maybe we will witness <laughs> here wakati mwingine unakuta ya kwamba instead ya kufanya uh, jukumu lako ama uh, kujua ya kwamba kuwa focused katika masomo yako mm. unakuta ya kwamba mtu amepeleka mchezo katika university ile hali ya kumalizia exam hapa na pale unakuta ya kwamba uh, amefail mm. na kwa sababu yeye yeah, anataka maisha ya kuwa mzuri mm. na maybe hata uh, pesa ako nayo unaona mm. financially maybe he is good mm. all, all else wamesikizana pengine na lecturer wake mm. but kwa sababu kuna jambo alifail kulifanya mm-hmm. he is end up na hataki ku deserve unajua wengine mm. wanajificha hata wazazi mm. pengine mtu mtoto unafikiria mtoto wako anafanya vyema maybe mm. na hapa ni sema ya kwamba ni vizuri wazazi kufuata mtoto wako mm-hmm. how he is doing in his academic kwa hivyo unakuta ya kwamba Uh, mtu hajafanya uh, lile anafaa kufanya mm-hmm. so akifika pale ni anataka certificate zake mm-hmm. anaenda kwa lecturer wake anamwambia lecturer sasa unajua sasa mimi nilifanya hapa na pale mm-hmm. so lecturer naye anamwambia you must do this mm-hmm. so anampe condition zake mm-hmm. So wakati imefika pahali na, na, uh, unakuta ya kwamba hata hauna otherwise mm. na unajikuta umeingia kwa, kwa shida ambayo kutoka itakuwa gu, mm. gumu na hiyo hali unakuta ya kwamba you have end up having sex with someone mm. because of your academic goals mm. so mm. na hiyo katika ile hali unaweza jikuta katika maisha yako umefanya jambo lile na limeleta mambo mabaya katika maisha yako you may end up having a child unaweza pata mimba unaweza pata madhara mengine magonjwa kama HIV ama magonjwa mengine kama hii zile za zile zile zinaletwa na HIV so ni vizuri kuambia kijana aliye mahali pale ya kwamba do your part kuna jambo ambalo unaweza fanya katika ujana wako ikuletee shida hata katika ndoa kwa sababu the moment your life has started like that you itaanza ita maisha yako itakuwa na majumba yumbo pale katikati so ni kusema kwamba don't ni heri upate fail ama upate hii hata kwa secondary yeah lakini usipatiane mwili wako kwa mwalimu kwa mwalimu ndio you better fail mm. than kuenda or you better fail in exams rather than fail in life yeah, mm. yeah. ni heri you fail lakini you remain with your purity mm. yeah. maybe another point okay unajua when you are growing up as as you told kwa na feature like he sex sexe na funiko ilikuwa inaitwa tabia mbaya Mm. Now that I'm grown up, I believe sex is not a bia mbaya because mm. sex ni mungu ali create. I don't mm. understand why ni kwani tu a bia mbaya, but I think they should have told us sex is something good but it has got its time. Una una na vinyo alikuwa na ficha ficha but mm. I would like us to call it a spade a spade not a not a big spoon, unaona? Mm. So tulikuwa tunaambiwa sex ni tabia mbaya na si kitu nzuri mm. but i believe sex is something good 
mm. but you can be doing something good but at the wrong time. Mm. So most of the ladies unapata like msichana katika ile rakati ya kukua unapata maybe kuna mahitaji ama unashindwa like excuse na sikia wasichana sio wameuliwa wapi hizo places wanaoliwa. Mm. So the another sex that you should not do is a sex with a married man because unapata a married man mm-hmm. mtu anaona tu yeye ni msichana mdogo na jua times sasa zile tumetoka high school we are still very naive. Sure. So mtu akikwambia like I love you maybe you have never been told this by your dad or any any male person in your family mm. so you feel like this is a really great thing mm. then unaenda anapata amekudanganya you end up having sex with that person mm. alafu na kwa umepata umepata ball mm. after amekupatia ball huyo mtu anaenda kutoroka he's not going to take the responsibility mm. unaona yeah so ningeambia tu vijana kule nje let us try to avoid this unaona kwa kisha kuambia hata kuambia oh hiyo bibi yangu hata niko tu na yeye lakini si mpendangi juu ya watoto bla 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 that's a lie kwa mm. sababu kuambia kupendangi lakini wata kuwa na shika ball unaona tu ball inaendelea kukua so na uko na kuambia kupendani so that is a sex we should avoid because it has got a lot of consequences mm. kwanza amekupatia mimba na anarudi kwa familia yake mm. Yes and I also advised men unajua tu uko na bibi na kama unafurahishwa na huyu wa uniform mshonia bibi yako uniform venye wanasemanga don't run wasichana wadogo maisha yao mm-hmm. ama pia this also applies unapata is a married man lakini bado pia wewe pia ni a married woman to another person lakini you end up having sex with that person mm-hmm. so once they are married we linda ndoa yako kama we ni msichana chunga na we mwanaume pia uko na akili umekoma maybe this is a very naive girl i lay in ni i lay mapenzi ni nini mm-hmm. let us as a society to protect our to water mm-hmm. we kama mwanaume protect you mtoto mchukue kama sister yako but being that unaona ni naive unajaribu kumkoroga akili because mm-hmm. it african age you mtoto atakuja kugura realize I wish there was someone and any advice you can give mm. And I believe there is someone maybe watching. We come on that in that situation right now maybe we may fall in love na ye. Mm. Just go back to factory setting. Hakuna ngaki kitu mtu azire kibisha. Mm. Very true. Another point kid. Sex ingine unafaa ku avoid katika maisha ya ndoa ama kijana ambaye hajaingia kwa ndoa ni ni about uh, it sana sana vijana wanaita girlfriend so girlfriend or boyfriend so ni vizuri uh, tujue ya kwamba god uh, when god uh, gave us the dominion that dominion mm-hmm. the purpose of sex was for just in marriage but wakati mwingine unakuta ya kwamba enzi ambazo tuko kuna vijana wanaleta mambo ya ti lazima niende road test. Mm. Lakini ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba we are in a biblical way. Mm. God God amekataa na mambo na fornication, sex mm. before marriage. Mm. So ni vizuri vijana wajue hiyo ya road test si 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 upendo wa Mungu. Mm. So you should avoid the faithful uh you remain faithful to god to your spouse to your friend na kwa sababu kuna mambo inakujanga katika doa mkifanya ile tendo na moja ni ni wakati mwingine kuna unakuta if you do that when you get into marriage you will be living a life of comparison Mm. Yeah. Mm. So unakuta ya kwamba when you get into that marriage ukiamua sasa ninataka ni, uh, kuna yule umeoa. Mm-hmm. Na pengine ulikuwa umetembea, umeenda na huyu, umeenda na fulani. So uta live <coughs> ndoa yako ita takuwa na shida. Mm. So you will end up living uh, when you are mkiwa katika hiyo tendo utakuwa na na ile 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 nini ya compare mm. with your partner. Mm. Yeah. I think Jee Simon has ongezea kitu hapo. I think road test tuachie gari. Road test tuachie gari mm-hmm. kwa barabara. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When we talk about uh, uh, sex, ili kitu ambacho tunaongea kuhusu it should be for the married people only. Yeah. So, 
hapa ni kwamba as my friend amesema hapa mm. ni kwamba when you do sex before marriage what happens ni kwamba unafanya na several people mm-hmm. right mm. na kuna mahali tafil huyu test yake iko hivi kuna mwingine utasikia ni watermelon unasikia ni ndimu <laughs> mwingine utasikia sijui ni ni nini unaona mm. mwingine sijui ni down melon mm. so unapata ya kwamba when you get into marriage marriage mm-hmm. Kuna mahali ulifikishwa na mtu fulani ama kuna mahali ulifikisha mtu. Mm. Ukasikia umefika. So when you you now decide eh, mm-hmm. this is my partner. Mm-hmm. Mwenye nataka kuishi na yeye. Mm. Huyu mtu kuna mahali kabisa aye ndio anafika. Mm. So utaishi kutafutanga jisikia anga wanjiro. Sijui nikasikia atieno. Mm-hmm. Baada hiyo sijui nikasikia nani? So utakuwa unatafuta atieno kwa wamboi. Mm. Ababu to be very hard. Mm. Na madhara yake ni kwamba utapata huyo mtu kutakuwa na infidelity in marriage. Kwa sababu ataishi kutafuta test fulani ya mtu ambaye alisiki. And then the hard ni kwamba unapata these two people kuna mtu wakati wali have that uh, that sex before marriage. Yo yo uh, fornication. Mm. Sio wote walisikizana kuna mtu tu mwenye alitoka na hiyo idea mm. akafinyilia aka mwingine mwingine akasema just for the sake of ninampenda huyu let me just give in mm. so what happens ni kwamba kuna mtu atarusi trust ya ule mwingine especially yule mwenye ali 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 alikubali tu just because huyu mwingine ametaka mm. ataishi kusema this person eh yeah, sio mtu right mm. as pia alidara na wewe before marriage That's that's same way and as appear patana na na msichana mwingine ama kijana mwingine huko nje wafanye the same. Mtu akisa akichelewa ama aseme ameenda mahali kwa kwa hoteli ama ako nje kidogo unakumbuka eh hivyo hivyo tu ndo alifanya wakati tulikuwa na so ni nini namzuia asifanye hivyo na mtu mwingine kwa sababu pia wakati wako ame amemuoa. So mnaishi na life of comparison kutafuta anga mahali ulifikishwa na pia kuna kuwa na mistrust mm. every time unapatanga one party na kuna lot of insecurities sure. not because of anything else but kwa sababu kuna tunda walikula mm. lenye alikufa alikuliwa wakati huo wakati ile what do you think else the sex ingine gani tunafaa kuachana na ama kujizuia <coughs> kuna hii sex like unapata and this is mostly na pena part kwa employment industry unapata like your boss ule ni tender supervisor it's a manager unapata na kuambia kama unataka like there's a documentary nilikuwa na watch unapata wasi wanapewa kazi ngumu so anakuambia kama unataka kutoka ile department yenye ni ngumu kuchekwa ingine mm-hmm. you must have sex with that person mm-hmm. you see yes ama unapata boss ama umeenda kutafuta kazi wanakuambia kazi iko lakini lazima tunaniki mwili mm-hmm. ama unapata wakati mwingine watu wanafutishwa kazi so wanakuambia Enye kazi yako ni nzuri lakini kama unataka tu kazi na wewe mm. lazima ugivin you mm-hmm. see So mimi usema ni Mungu ndio ufungua njia na kuna zile njia Mungu pia ufunga So the best thing you can do ambia boss kama ni lazima hiyo kazi yako ndio nilishe acha ikae Unaona mm-hmm. cuz maybe let's say like you are a married person mm-hmm. you are either a man or a woman sisi vitu hazifanyiki kwa wanawake peke yake unapata hivyo na man ameemployiwa na unapata boss wake ni mwanamke anamlazimisha kulala na yeye mm-hmm. you see You as a man utakuwa tuseme mostly kama ni man una, anaangalia maybe family yake uko nyuma nini ana give in mm-hmm. unapata like mentally utakuwa ng disturbed mm-hmm. unaona yes. na hata kama ni wewe ni mstenu ka give in kuna ile dignity yako itakuwa lowered mm-hmm. you can imagine you ni boss wako si like your partner uta, utita kuwa lowered mm-hmm. and it's only, it's not, not only for the married couples ina penadi kwa Like hata wewe ni msichana maybe umetoka uni ama you are in a high school ama nini ama maisha yamekulemea then all of a sudden ukapata kazi you see mm. so una ndio lazima you have sex with me ndio to fight but hii kazi what i can advise my youth school angel and even the married couples Mungu ndio ufungua njia ambia tu mtu hiyo iwezekani acha acha don't have sex with your boss cuz it allow a dignity hapa kuna kitu mtu hakuna kitu aizi kuambia i can he or she can tell you any rubbish anaweza ku kukata mshahara ndio sasa ugivin ndio ugivin mm. ndio tena akisha kaunga vitu ndio mshahara kuereka mshahara tena inapanda 
So don't give in to any employer. Yeah, because even before that job existed, uliko naishi, au kukufa. So, uh, unapata ya kwamba Gideon, mm. ume, ume, ume ma in-laws. Kuna kati kwa tunangia about the in-laws, mm. na unapata in-laws amekuja huko. Inazafika pahali ujipata ume have sex na in-laws? Yeah, yeah, kuna possibility na ni vizuri kuwa very careful kwa sababu uh, in fact hiyo ni kitu ambayo it's like it is can be a curse to you mm-hmm. kwa sababu in laws it's like you are kama wazazi wako mm-hmm. ama maybe it's like a, a sister a sister of your wife mm-hmm. or like it's a brother it's a brother to your to your husband brother, yes so ni vizuri kuwa very careful kwa sababu uh, maisha ambayo tunaishi unakuta ya kwamba kwa sababu nime nimekaa vizuri mm-hmm. kuna dada yangu mdogo dada yangu wa a sister to my wife mm-hmm. amekuja kwangu yes. unakuta ya kwamba kwa sababu ni mstana tu mkubwa mm-hmm. kuna tofauti yake na mke mm-hmm. wangu mm-hmm. lakini unakapata ya kwamba uh, kuna at a point uh, mume ama mke anafika mahari mm. unakuta ya kwamba wamefika katika kiki, uh, kufanya ilile tendo mm. na ambalo ni ni mbaya so mm. uh, let's avoid that that uh, closeness to our relatives mm. yani our in-laws ni vizuri kuwa very careful mm-hmm. wakati tunaishi na wao mm-hmm. kwa sababu ukiona uh, red flag frani mm-hmm. be very careful mm-hmm. na uh, oh, tulisema ya kwamba when we are looking the laws of husband and the law of a wife mm-hmm. tulisema ya kwamba ni vizuri mtu wa pray party yake mm-hmm. kwa hivyo ni vizuri unakuta ya kwamba hata pengine hamna house help mm-hmm. unakuta ya kwamba wakati mwingine hata unaachia majukumu huyo huyo sister yako maybe wife yako akienda kazi mm-hmm. kuna majukumu anaachia huyo mm-hmm. msichana sister yake mm-hmm. na pengine hata wewe uko pale mm-hmm. so so some to, to some extent ni vizuri kuangalia mambo ambayo tunayafanya mm-hmm. mimi huwa anasema kwamba eh bwana ni wako akiwa kwako akikuja huku nje ni wetu Mm-hmm. Ama mke ni wako ukiwa na yeye. Akisha atoka huku ni wetu sisi zote. Mm-hmm. Wanasema kwamba pia hakuna kuku, hakuna jogoya kuku moja. Mm-hmm. Eh, what do they mean? Do they give a platform ya kufanya sex na anybody? Okay, that's a very stupid notion kwa sababu kama ni wewe mwenye uko na ile like you want this marriage to work hiyo ni kitu kama we ni mwanamke ako na hekima mama mwanaume ako na hekima kuna vitu azifai kutoka kwa mdomo yako cause the moment na nitasema mwanaume ni wangu akiwa kwangu na kitoka nje umemwachilia already umejua that ume umonge kuna power me release because wanasema ngatanga has got power like you, you don't care hiyo ni yani he or she can have sex with anyone you see but ukiwa na hekima na kuna kitu unataka cause hakuna venye nitakuwa naombea ndoa yangu ndoa isimame yeye tunasema huyo ni wangu akiwa kwangu anaweza fanya vinye anataka lakini napata kwamba hata hasa anaweza kuwa sio partner ni watu sasa na nje mm-hmm. sasa this is your husband lakini watu huko nje nasema kwamba mume ni wako akiwa kwako lakini akitoka huko ni wetu sisi zote sasa hiyo hata kisema hivyo but since i love my partner yo 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 what is it kwa mdomo yangu unaona cuz i've already have released the power so like anaweza fanya vinye avinye anataka unaona like hata ukikuja ukireportu watu ni mwana baba na nene mama na nene anafanya kitu fulani unasema ah anaweza fanya vinye anataka it down to you you also share to other people this a notion yenye kama uko na hekima na unataka kuingia kwa ndoa unataka ndo yako ifanye kazi na imudu yani kwa milele mm. until they do the part there are things that you should avoid kuongea mm. cuz nikisema marriage is a scam once you say say it's a scam it won't work for you hakuna mm-hmm. kuna venye church venye kwa church venye suit fundishwa 
wanasemanga what you don't value can't honor what you don't honor or what you don't value can't honor can't honor you nona hakuna kitu utaona dhamana yake na uonangi umuhimu wao yani azine haikupendezi so since i love my partner interpreta nikiona kama ni ule mwenye anaenda hivi hivi but i love to pray for it cuz hii ni kitu nataka cuz mtu kama mimi nikitaka naitaka before i give up nianze kusema hizo is kama na nini na inaitaka na lazima nitajua so let us just use wisdom kuna zile wadu zisitoke hata watu wengine wakizisema usiziseme so usijaribu ku wanasema ya kwamba eh sharing is caring na hapo nje unapata kuna neighbor tu na maybe hana bwana ama bwana ako mbali na ako na dress pale ya mezi kadhaa Don't you think caring is sharing is caring? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> ni vizuri tusifuate misemo ingine <laughs> ambayo itakuja kuvunja doa yako. <laughs> ama itakuja kuvunja doa ya mtu mwingine. <laughs> so uh, even when we we look at the biblical perspective <laughs> the, 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 the Bible says talks about that boldness ambayo uh, that covenant you made to your wife or your husband mm-hmm. i think it's bo- in the book of mark mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. too mm-hmm. it's talk about that covenant you made to your mm-hmm. to your wife mm-hmm. so there is uh, kuna hizo consequences mm-hmm. ambazo zinakuja mm-hmm. wakati ume break that covenant mm-hmm. na vizuri uh, ambayo wanatutazama wajue whether ulifanya Uh, harusi harusi ya kanisa mm. ama uh, ulifanya tu ile ya kamwiste na mkaanza kukaa mm. the more muliingia pamoja wakati muli yani hata ulikuja uli, uli ukamwambia mimi nakupenda mm. that is a covenant mm-hmm. you you you, you alter, see, dada yangu ameongea mambo uh, the tongue mm-hmm. maneno yetu mm-hmm. najua maneno yetu wakati mwingine inakufunga mm-hmm na waka, uju, ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba tang has power mm-hmm. so the moment you alter at me na kupenda mm-hmm. then you break that covenant mm-hmm. unajua hata bere za Mungu umekosea huyo mtu mm-hmm. so ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba uh, unaposema ati ya kwamba ati ati, ati uh, jirani yangu ati ame hana bwana kwa sababu hana bwana mm-hmm. na tuseme hata maybe wife yangu ameenda ushago kidogo ama ameenda kazi mahali unaenda kuokolea unaenda ati kuokolea mm-hmm. ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba you are destroying a, a, a someone life kwa sababu katika hiyo hali ya kuokolea mm-hmm. kunaweza kuja kamgeni mm-hmm. sure mm-hmm. sio mm-hmm. na the moment ju maybe kuna kuna wakati itafika mm-hmm. hiyo mambo ijulikane mm-hmm. so una utakuja kuita uvunja doa yako mm-hmm. ama mambo yingine mm-hmm. ikuje kutokea mm-hmm. utajiletea shida nyingine mm-hmm. so it's good to to avoid kitu ya dakika kidogo unaharibu maisha yako mm-hmm. ama unaharibu doa ya mtu mwingine so tuachilie watu wakauka no ndio ifike like wewe sasa umeona jirani yako bibi yake ayuko ama mke ayuko ndio uanze kuambia kuna dress but unajua pia kuna venye mmepelekea mazoea yenyewe yenyewe kenda sana so i wish no unajua hata nikwambia sasa hizi tu assume mimi ni jirani yako nyumba yangu iko hapa wewe yako iko hapa utaniangalia tu hivi nione niko na dress but what if kama tumeamonga okay bwanangu ako mbali ama bibi yangu ako mbali kuna place hiyo ndio kutana tunamaliza aje tutajuaje mimi niko na dress but na ijaandikwa kwa kwa forehead kuna ile mazoeano mmeongea mkazoeana sana zile vitu mnaongea mkapita mipaka i think we should limit our relationship Yes. Unajua tukisha za like sasa tuzoeane na wewe tumeanza kuongea mambo ya sex so oh, sijui bibi yangu anakuanga hivi hadi nikikuona naona ni kama unaweza ka hivi you see eh. So tukisha kapo tunaanza kuongea it's so much much easier sisi kuingi kuingiliana hapo Yeah. Eh nikikuangalia na una tu like kama eh So kuna zile vitu tunafa ku limit. Mm. Wanasema ya kwamba eh tusinyimane sasa nataka kuniambia eh, na watu wanakutubai ya kwamba 
usinyime mwenzako sasa what about that unajua tunatumia anga wakati mwingine bible just to favor us unaona wanasema hey marriage just for the two of us so kiaza watu wasinyimane sa zile mume wake ako huko mbali ama anaweza kuwa ni mjane but yangu mjane mm. bible inamruhusu kwenda kuolea kuoa ama kuoleka you see mm. <coughs> na wewe pia ukitaka kusema kwa na dress bell do, don't you know that hata kuna wale wako married na wanakuanga dress bell kwa hii nyumba yao mm-hmm. you see yes. so wewe ukianza kutatua hizi ma dress bell za watu wako nje na maybe hata you are not in a, in a position ku kulia watu wanaenda kuzaa huko nje ukianza unajua kuna zile vitu wanaangalia usinyimane ili dress bill na yeye na bibi yake na yeye mwenyewe mm-hmm. anafaa kuomba Mungu ampatie self control mm-hmm. si like wewe ni ngombe ama wewe ni mdogi you can't control yourself penye umejisikia tu unaenda mm-hmm. unaona yule husband being that husband ako mbali ama wife mm-hmm. kuna venye still you can communicate you can sex chat you see mm-hmm. na still bado mnaweza ku avoid hizi hizi vitu zote kuna video calls kuzi wezi sema like wezi unaona so wewe ukaanza kuniambia majirani will you serve all these jiranis and another thing kitu nimekuja kujua sex is so spiritual mm-hmm. so you imagine umebeba hizi majirani zote na mashetani zao kila mtu na yake you see takufuata <laughs> another thing kama wewe ni mwanaume mm-hmm. unajotu wanawake maybe kuna wale maybe wako tu hapa kwa idol and ana ana mti mind is a devil workshop. Mhm. Ataanza kuambia bibi, "Wewe unaniambia nga nini na hii nitokore na ifagianga kila kitu." You see, mm-hmm. ume umedunisha bibi yako mm-hmm. na wewe pia mwenyewe umejidunisha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unaona kuna venye atakuheshimu ama hata atakuangalia kama ushala la shala na bibi yako anasema, "Mimi nini hata kuna kaka kazi yanafanya ni mimi ndo na service bibi yake." Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. So, mimi tunasema kuna zile jokes ni limit wa joke msiende sana mkaingie kwa mza kuongelea zile vitu kimwili you just limit tu kiona mtu anaenda sana kitambo nilikuwa naona eh, kama ni mzee baba kwa nyumba alikuwa anga na rumi yake huko na ako na kiti yake na kulikuwa na heshima fulani ambayo ilikuwa kati ya baba na wasichana si ndio mm. so hata kama kuna upendo unapata kuna hiyo restriction ah uh, I happened to walk somewhere na nikapata kijana ni actually come sana na babake but vile msana mkubwa tu vile msana na papaswa na babake huku makalio ana mguza guza huku mapaja i was like <laughs> kuna uwezekano ya kwamba watu wanaezalala na watoto wao wazazi ama brothers and sisters okay that's happen ni kitu iko kwa familia na kwa ndoa mm. but uh, most likely yenye yenye nimesikia ikitendeka or i maybe unakuta ya kwamba mtu anasema kwa kulienda hivi maybe unasikia na mtu akise, akitoa testimony mm. but unakuta ya kwamba yenye ina happen sana sana ni wakati maybe mmeingia kwa kwa ulikuwa kwa doa lakini kuna mambo ilienda hapo katikati na na pengine mka ama ama nilete things to do with the dead mm. e, kifo mm. tuseme ya kwamba ulikuwa na mke wako na mlikuwa umezaa na yeye mm. akakuja a, akakuja ku kupas so akakuacha na na mtoto probably mostly inakujanga na na hawa watu wa, wa mama wa kambo sana sana hiyo ndio ina happen mm-hmm. nakuta ya kwamba pengine Mary amekuja na mtoto kwangu mm-hmm. ya yeah? amekuja na mtoto kwangu so si wangu biologically mm-hmm. huyo mtoto it's not my mm-hmm. my child mm-hmm. but uh, maybe uh, ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba uh, ni vizuri kuwa careful because the moment umeingia kwangu you have become my my wife so your children will be my my children so but mostly hiyo ina happen unakuta ya kwamba Mary amekuja na na na, na msichana kwangu isio sio my biological uh, daughter so unakuta ya kwamba unaona kama ni ule tu msichana tu wa nje na mostly hiyo ina happen mm-hmm. Unakuta ya kwamba 
tumefika mahali tumezoeana mm. sasa sioni kama ni mtoto wangu mm. so mostly hiyo ina happen katika katika doa na ni vizuri kuambia kama wewe ni, ni kijana ujikute katika doa kama ile mm. ama ujikute ume, umejikuta mikononi mwa mtu ambaye na unajua vizuri sio baba yako ukiona kuna ile that closeness ni vizuri kuwa very careful do we have instances za eh, unapata kuku imekuliwa na mayai ama kuku na vifaranga mm-hmm. iko unajua hata tutasema hizi vitu wazi hapa hizi vitu zina hapa but ni advice unajua most of the time wana blaming wanawake ama wasichana like wewe msichana uko na ni baba yako you see this is a very young the a young lady ama ni katoto wewe tu mwanaume na akili zako hizo na five senses zako una ushajua huyu mtoto si mimi ndio nilimzaa like hiyo ni kitendo cha unyama you see we mwenye unafa, you, you are the person that should protect this child yes, yeah. but na sasa wewe ndio mwenye unafa kumuumiza you see kwa hiyo mtoto kuna time atakuja ku grow akisema kai na sasa ni nini shughuli nilifanya mm-hmm. but wewe uko na senses zako wewe ni mtu amemachua mm-hmm. so i think kuna sasa hata kama mama kule nyumbani ukiona kuna zile closeness unajua kuna baba wengine sijui ni nini nawasumbuanga lakini yani akiona tu skirt yani as long as ye atapita tu na kila kitu mm-hmm. you see so wazazi pia hata azma tunasema hizi sex wa ku avoid pia wale wanaume wanaenda kufanya hizi vitu watafadhali ni kama nini mwache hizi vitu unajua tu hata kama uko mza huyu ni mtoto wako unaona hakuna venye utakula kuku na na yu pamoja na kifaranga hata kuku mwenyewe tu kuku mwenyewe tunaonanga mashosho uko home kuku ame, ametaga mayai ametaga akazinini sasa kuku zimekuwa mm-hmm. the moment ule jogoa na kwa mkubwa anaanza kurukia mama yake mm-hmm. utolewa mm-hmm. if kama kuku anaweza tolewa sembuse binadamu mm-hmm. you see sira bado ni jam say much a jokes wenda wenda huyo mtu akoja na sasa ameona the only way ni ni kushika si tumesikia ta instances bibi yake ameenda wapi hata tumesikia instances tumesikia instances za mtu anakula mbuzi mwingine anarukia kuku kuna shida kuku inaletwa wazi karibu but these things are happening ama they are happening but those ukiziangalia don't just look at them mm-hmm. with the physical life those are spiritual things mm-hmm. you can imagine wewe Simon akili zako timamu sasa na kupata umechukua kuku like seriously it's, it's not a, it's, <laughs> it's not something <laughs> like ya kawaida yeah <laughs> lazima iko imeletwa na jabu fulani ikitendeka <laughs> that's something so spiritual yeah mm-hmm. na it's very it's very what we are very careful mm-hmm. kwa sababu si jabu nzuri mm-hmm. yeah we cannot hide our our, our our face in the side to say me kwamba at sex sasa in the side the current sort we are living in mm-hmm. ya kwamba ibe baki tu ya eh, husband and wife ama ama male and female isn't it mm-hmm. tunaona watu wana wana eh wake kwa wake na waume kwa waume kwanza hiyo ya wake kwa wake ina happen na namna gani i've never tried it before <laughs> hata mimi natamani kuona hiyo kitu umenyofanyika cause i don't know i don't know i as you dream yani sielewi hata mimi ningetamani kuona venye ufanyika but siwezi tamani lakini si mzuri you see but ni vitu ufanyika hapo ndio unapata watu na kwa mtu anaenda hapa na mari the same sex yes. and these are things we should avoid because if you read the bible unaona hizi vitu zinafanyika size hapa at this current generation yes. this thing happened even before mm. kwa sababu unapata Sodoma na Gomora mm. na ukiangalia vizuri Sodoma na Gomora ilikuja kumalizwa kwa sababu za hizi vitu mm. in as much as tuna assume vitu zingine that we are in a digital world si it is vitu vijana tunafanya like nikiongea na kijana mwenye akoko nje anafanya hizi vitu it's not like they never they've never happened hizi vitu zili happen hata zile enzi za our forefather wa Abraham unaona mm. so before fanye kitu pia uangalie ujaribu kusoma biblia kuna hata hizi biblia tuna they are not just stories these are things that happen unajaribu kulinganisha we mwenye una renew your generation so ningependa kuadvise kijana mwenye akoko nje 
anafanya hizi vitu you can still rectify your life mungu ni mtu mwaminifu na ni mwema sana ukimrejelea ukamwambia unajua kuna saa zingine we can do things out of pressure unaona mm. like eh mimi naweza ngataka ku experience hii kitu inakuangaje mm. si ti anataka ni ile tu like ile pia pia pressure ama ile kwa um, inaitwa ina curious curiosity mm. unataka ku experience before you experience hii kitu ujulize madhara yake iko wapi but kama ushaifanya hii kitu our god is so faithful mm. ambia tu mungu nisamee na urejelee katika njia usikuje ukajikunga but it's not something good gideon tukimalizia unaweza sema nini <coughs> naweza sema jambo lingine ambalo lin happen sana sana mm. m- katika familia na hii ni sema ya kwamba it's kind of a, a failure to our, our palate na society pia mm. kwa sababu unakuta ya kwamba most of it happen unakuta ya kwamba unakuta umeoa kazini yako bila kujua mm-hmm. na pengine hata si 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 kupenda kwako mm-hmm. juu hiyo naweza sema ni failure ya society ama familia unakuta ya kwamba watu wamekuwa busy so much busy such that hakuna ile kukutana such that i can know marry you are my cousin yes so unakuta ya kwamba mostly unaweza pata ya kwamba umeoa kazini yako mm. na, na, na unajua ile mvuto unaweza fikiria ni upendo lakini ni da ni damu, ni damu inavutana mm. so ni vizuri ku, ku, ku tuambie society na familia zetu ni vizuri tutenge uh, time kwa sababu ya our generation mm. juu unaweza kuta ya kwamba uh, umeoa kazini yako ama mm. So, most of it happen kwa mm. cousins mm. kwa sababu brother wezi mm-hmm. ama sister yako na 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 jambo lingine kwa hiyo unaweza kuta pia ni vizuri kuwa hata kama tuliguzia hapo nyuma hii unakuta ya kwamba uh, le, le, ni, wife sister ya wife yangu mm. amekuja mm-hmm. kwangu mm. so na pengine hata most of ni may happen to some communities mm-hmm. but uh, i can't say here mm-hmm. uh, unakuta ya kwamba pengine hata uh, mume ameenda majuu kidogo mm-hmm. so ameacha mm-hmm. mke uh, ameenda majuu mm-hmm. mume ndiye ameachwa mm-hmm. so unakuta ya kwamba Uh, katika ile hali ya kati ya nini sister yako kakuja mm. so bila mke wako kujua na ako nje mm. sister yako amekuja amekuja mm. tena amekuwa mke mm, wako okay. mm. so ni vizuri kujua when you do that kind of a sex mm. it will affect your marriage sure. mm. kuna ingine hapa tulikuwa tunasahau nimekuja kukumbuka kuna this like unapata anga most of uh, unapata uh, you trust your pastor so much it uongelee kwa sababu hiki tunafanyika like unapata mtu anakuja na kuambia pastor unajua wacha tuseme sasa kama pastor ni mostly ni mwanaume acha tuongelee pastor ni mwanaume mm. unajua bibi yangu amekuwa spiritual na kujanga tu sijui yako hivi yeye anaenda kila kitu amekuwa so much spiritual mpaka me neglect responsibility yake mm. ananyima mwanaume conjugal right mm. unaona ana mwanaume na yani unapata mwanaume ananyima bibi yako unajua huyo bwana yangu siku hizi amekuwa hivi mm. ana nini manini nini ni sasa ile harakati pasta unajua pia ni binadamu mm anamtuliza eh sasa zingine mama pia kuna vinya amebeba kulikata bibi yake usi eh ile sasa kuwa na closeness ana mjaribu usijali mm. sasa unajua you see mungu anakupenda Uh, ile rakatu wa mama marini so unapata like even these people are human beings mm-hmm. unaona si ti waindagi wa kwangi na majaribu ama kwangi ati sasa yako pasta hapo atamani ngi mtu mm-hmm. tuambieni tu kweli hata yana simama <laughs> so unapata like hiyo wamekuwa na that closeness you end up having hiyo sasa pasta na shughuliki ile maneno ya bwana yako huko nyumbani you see mm-hmm. kwa sababu hiyo pasta ndo namleti anga mashida zako yes that sex we should avoid. So pastor ajue ni pastor na mshika ni mshirika. Hata kikuja kukuambia ito huyo bwana yake 
na mjaribu kuongelesha unasikia na sisi pia wanawake si eti ile kitu kidogo pasta bwana yangu alifanya mm. pasta size bwana yangu hakuna one week acha mm. ili ni mm. maybe pasta pia na kwa ushuo huko nyumbani ah. sema hi this is the opportunity you see <laughs> yeah wamepatana haina wawili eh anasema hata mimi na experience kutoka kama hiyo na sijui wacha tuombe tu tuombe tu oh sasa hii closeness inakuja unajua pasta pia na kwa shota sema eh Hai suru tutawaenda kwa magoti tuambie Mungu atusamehe. Eh. Yeah. Oh, unapata wanaanza kumaliziana haja. Mm. Yeah, that sex we should not have to the pastor because uta confuse pastor. Mm. Yes. But also ni vizuri nikima niki nikitako hiyo hiyo point yako ni vizuri tuwe very careful. Ni vizuri unajua tumesema ya kwamba huyu he is a pastor is your pastor mm. na ni vizuri kujua he is a servant of god mm. na wacha tuseme ya kwamba hata kama ulimwengu ume umetoka katika ile mapenzi ya Mungu na kuta ya kwamba kuna wengine wamejiita mm. so ako pale sio kulisha kondo no mm. mm. ni kujirisha <laughs> ni kujirisha kukula kondo. Kukula kondo. <laughs> so, ni vizuri pia tukue very careful. Wacha heshima ambayo mchungaji ana anafaa umpe. Mm. Unajua unakuta ya kwamba also si semi ni on the ladies even to gents. Mm. Unakuta ya kwamba kama hivyo unasema ya kwamba maybe uko na shida na katika doa yako mm. na maybe mwenye unaona unaweza kibilia mm. ni huyo mchungaji wako because he is a your spiritual father he sure. can he can guide you on what to do in your marriage exactly. maybe kuna kuna hiyo kuyumba yumba kwa doa yako mm-hmm. so unaenda ku seek advice kwa mchungaji wako mm-hmm. when you are going be very decent covered in a decent way mm-hmm. kwa sababu saimo uwezi niambia mm-hmm. mimi na ni mimi ni binadamu kama wewe mm-hmm. ati unakuja skirt imefika hapo mm-hmm ibe na hata kuketi na huku kuna... uh, mm. instead ya kufunika mm. inaonekana maziwa iko nje maziwa iko nje mm. so ni vizuri to be uh, tukue realistic na na tukue careful mm. ni vizuri hu, ukue uh, ukue in that respect mm. pe mchungaji wako if you are agent maybe mchungaji wako ni ni already mm. ni vizuri hata wewe u, u, ukae kimwanaume kim pia pia mchungaji mchungaji akubali yeye ni mchungaji wa kuchunga roho za watu hakuna vile mchungaji pia ataenda atienda kuobea mama na ako peke yake kwa nyumba na ni utu nyumba zingu yeah. hata anaenda hata, hata, hata anaenda tu amepiga mko tu kwa kitanda mmeanza ku, kuomba hapo kuomba kwa kitanda sasa unajua ulikuwa umeenda roho safi umeenda so vizuri pia mchungaji ajue kwamba yeye pia ni mu ni mtu mm. na akiwa mtu ajue kwamba pia kona akona hisia mm. ya kwamba mwili wake haujako kwa fridge damu bado inapamba yeah. so akienda hapo aone aone nini mapaja hapa hata sema ati ameona kidole <laughs> eh? so ni, ni muhimu sana pia wachungaji wajitadhani wajua kwamba wameitwa kuwa wachungaji mm-hmm. eh yeah. what do you have to say to kimazia hii mambo yako ngumu kidogo So tukimalizia kwanza naweza sema hivi hapo kwa mchungaji. Oh tunaweza naweza sema sex is something like your attraction. Ningependa tu tuombe tu, tu na tukue na that self control na unajua ukiwa na pia uombe Mungu akupate that spiritual guidance because kama utakaa tu hivyo hivyo hata itakuwa rahisi kama vile tumesema huyo mchungaji na pia kule wanaume can blame men so much. Kuna zile vitu wanaume wanafanya na zistahili. Kama we unajua huyu venye tulisema unajua huyu mtoto alikujua nayo. Njoo tu alikujua nayo lakini bado ni wako. So men ukiona huyu mtoto ni naive. Acha kutumia hii kama wipo ni ya kwenda kuna una nini. Mimi ta blame our society. I want to blame even this generation. I'm going to blame our society. Na pia wazazi tuongelee mambo ya sex. Tu acha 
as long as mtu yeye amefika ile age anaelewa this is bad and this is nini unaona mwambie mm -hmm. true sex is something good sex is sweet but it's sweet at the proper time wacha kuambia mtu hii ni tabia mbaya eh hii mambo tu kwa tunampa sex ni tabia mbaya usitembee na wanaume you avoid men na maybe alafu ikifika miaka ya kuo ameanza kumuombea eh na unishaniambia hii ni tabia mbaya wacha tuambie tu mtoto sex ni tamu hisia za mwili pia zitakuja mwambie hisia za mwili zikikuja kuna zina kujanga ta adolescent stage unasikia tu hapo ndo unaanza kuangana crush mm. ambia mtoto venye kutakuwa unajua kama utaniambia hizi vitu at least i've got the knowledge nikienda kufanya nitajua nafanya kitu wa style mm. but since hujaniambia unajua ukiniambia ni tabia mbaya mimi nitataka ku experience tabia mbaya inakangaje mm. So let us educate our children and even our parents let us be open about sex education tuache kuficha mambo tu toka hizo era Did you your party shot Yeah tukimalizia naweza sema maneno tu kidogo ya kwamba god uh, sex is god mm. na ni kitu ambaye Mungu ali alipea mwanadamu as a part of enjoyment mm -hmm. but it is not enjoyment in every way or to every person mm -hmm. so ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba it has a limit mm -hmm. na the purpose of sex is only in between married people mm -hmm. thank you very much i think my part in short ni kusema kwamba there is a verse in the bible that says do not allow love until it so desires ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba sex ama upendo uko na wakati wake ambao unastahili kuutumia na unapata ya kwamba ni vizuri ku educate hawa that's why i concur with you Mary ya kwamba sex education should be taught everywhere iwe ni kwa kanisa iwe ni wapi pasipo kufunika kwa sababu unapata we have a lot of single girls wenye wako na watoto But the way ni ya kwamba wakati msichana anasikia akiwa na joto sana. Mm. Wakati anasikia akiwa na joto sana, hapo dio akifanya tu sex pap. Boli inaingia. Ni vizuri anajua kwamba wanasema kama maumivu ya kizidi sana muone daktari. Mm. Mimi nitasema hapa, joto ikizidi, <laughs> oka na majibaji. <laughs> Kwa sababu that is why we have a uh, a uh, watoto ambao hana baba ukiulizwa unasikia tu baba ako wapi baba alikanyangwa na roho ni tutaki kufikia hapo because of unplanned sex ni vizuri kujua kwamba sex is ordained mm. by god na sex is only for married people mm. ni muhimu kuelewa hivyo na hakuna mtu chaisikia amekufa kwa sababu ya ya kukua na dry spell no one has ever died ati umekaa hivi ukasikia unabano unabano uka faint kwa sababu ya joto kwa nyingi Etia. Ajay fika hapo. Ata. Ajisikia kijana mwenye alisimamisha akakufa. So. Eh, usema tu kweli sasa. Boys hivi tutaambia ni kweli. Sema tu kweli. Ni vizuri kujua kwamba ukweli ni kwamba you cannot die because of lack of sex. Exactly. You cannot die because of love. Kwa mm. hivyo, let us maintain purity. Kama umejipata hapo, saa hizi vile tunaongea hivyo ushaingia kwa hiyo sex. Mm. Kuna what we call secondary virginity. Mm. Just stop at that. You focus with your life mm. until wakati wa marriage. Utaenjoy nini? Uki ukionjo hapo ukionjo hapo ubaki ukiwa dimu. Sasa utakuwa kwa nyumba hakuna mtu mmoja na husband atacheki na wewe ama ume kwa kitu imejikuja so Mungu awezi mabariki sana <laughs>